Thank yeah. you. Good presentation. And I know from having uh, three grandchildren, one in each school last year, that the schools are extremely positive. And being educated myself for 36 years, that, that you run a real good real good show. And the, and the teachers in, in Hampton are, are super. I just a couple of questions. One, on the privacy, which I'm sure you're doing, I'm, I'm sure you got to stay on top of that because yeah. in the global environment, I mean, when you have all major corporations and major banks being hacked and you know, even the Pentagon being hacked, I mean, nothing is, is totally, no data is totally right. uh, safe. And the other thing is, uh, I know some schools I read last year during snow days with technology were using sending home uh, bags or uh, assignments so yep. that they could count it as a school day and then you'd save on transportation costs when it came around to making up that day. Do you know if that was successful with any schools, or whether that was a failure, if that's anything that's worth? It depended on who you can talk, who you yeah. talk to. Um, in some places, Kiasage, which really was the one that started it under Jerry Frew, um, was successful. I and mean, he doesn't use them all the time. He actually calls a blizzard bag day. And you hear the announcements from Kiasage. He'll say that the announcement will say this is a blizzard bag day. And yet, you talk to other parents. Uh, we talked to some folks in Hampstead because we have had that on our agenda yep. to look mm -hmm. at. Um, and uh, m m m mom, mom of four kids comes home from work. Guess what? She's got oh. she's got work <laughs> and one computer. And so there, there's, there's the ups and downs. Um, some teachers suggest that it isn't rigor eno rigorous enough. Um, and in the, with the little ones, it would be more paper. And then what does that mean? Uh, Ten worksheets? And, t and that's not as productive as having that teacher there with them doing activities and hands-on. So it's a, it's a blizzard bag with a mixed bag of results. And so we looked at it twice now, and we backed away both times, Jim. We do. I mean, we get excited because you start talking about the cable, the cable content that you could have stacked up and ready to go. And if you have six hours of a seven hours of a school day, and the local cable could be broadcasting age-appropriate programming at different times during the day that could dovetail. So you actually had the teacher almost present, uh, you know, coming across the cable line or blended online so that folks have got access to, you know, the, the flipped classroom kind of environment. There's some th opportunities that continue to present themselves out there, but bringing them all to, to bear on the conversation at the same time, it hasn't happened yet. Okay, maybe more to the question. Um, what's our per pupil cost, and how does that compare to the per pupil cost in New Hampshire and national? Our pu per, uh, the, the last one that I've got stated was uh, last year, and we used that for tuition rates, et cetera, it's 13000 704. Uh, remember, that's the black box formula coming out of the Department of Ed, which takes out some of the transportation variables and capital costs so that we can have that apples to apples comparison around the state. Uh, it's obviously higher than that if you do joke you public raw costs. You just take the total budget divided by the number of kids, it'd be higher for sure. But um, that 13 is our K 8 average, and I want to say the state average is. Right about that, mm -hmm. and I, co mm -hmm. I couldn't comment on a national. Okay. Uh, for that same year, we were, I want to say we were just below the state average when we compared it last and looked at that number, which was for 1213 is the number that I'm quoting off the top of my head. So. Okay. Thank you.